I think I think it's still kind of surreal that it that it happened and um, it's obviously huge because my first gold medal but it's super exciting and now that I'm back in Canada it's crazy to be able to just share it with the Canadians that are here and you know what I think the biggest thing is just I've been to world championships and stuff and you know you play the games and you win or you lose but when you go to the Olympics you really feel like Canada is behind you and everyone's really cheering you on so I think it's, it's huge and it's so amazing that you come back and you still feel like you have so much support by Canadians you didn't even know. I mean, I'll probably remember the last four minutes and the overtime, even though it all happened so fast and then we were celebrating, it was kind of crazy, but you know what, during the game we were, we were battling hard and they're always a tough team to play against, so we knew it was going to be a tough game from the start and I think it just showed that we never, never gave up and kept going to the end. You know, you always have those little thoughts in your head and then you're like, well, forget about it because this is the Olympics and, you know, I might as well give it my best for these last two minutes or whatever we're playing. So, you know, you always have those thoughts, but you just got to keep playing your heart out and whatever happens, and at least you can be proud of how you played.